Hi, I'm Kim Ann, and this is Ron and Lilo. We've been living full time in this truck camper for two years. In my 50s, I decided to stop existing and start living my dreams. I left my life and career to become a nomad and travel. If you like our videos, please subscribe, like, and comment. We'd be so grateful. This is our morning view. Very pretty. Good morning, Lily. Good morning, Ron. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Good morning, we're still in Canada and the dogs want to go out really bad. <laughs> so let's get our day going. my friend Wendy's back suit. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't even know that was called a shell. 
They're um, rat terriers. After the winery, we went back to Wendy's house where she gave me a tour of the beautiful property. Was it all just a dream, just all in my head? Upstream the things that you said Tell me I'm being honest Tell me did you know That you would be leaving me Just like the winners know Tell me I'm being honest Tell me should I know That you'd be leaving me So painfully quiet and I'm a best to move I'm leaving my friend Wendy's house today in Ontario and I'm sad it's really beautiful here and I can always come back but we're crossing back into the US keep going but unfortunately my mom um, is sick and she's not doing very well so um, I have a few stops to make but then I'm headed back to Florida to help them uh, when family needs you you need to go and I'm glad that I'm living this life where I could give that time to them 
I just saw a sign that said that there's reduced lanes on the bridge going back to the U.S. and to expect delays. So we'll see how it is. has such a pretty flag it's just so simplistic but so friendly like look at our friendly little leaf come here enjoy the fall enjoy the beauty it's very welcoming Funny, the few times where I have crossed over a border, like this time going to Canada, and then I also crossed over the border twice going to Mexico, and it's always been a breeze getting into other countries and then trying to come back into the U.S. It's a hassle. It's a hassle. There's a lot of weight. It's a hassle. I don't know what's up with that. What's up with that? We're waiting in this long, long line where we're just totally stopped and we're on. Every time we, oh, every time we stop, he thinks it's time to get out. So he's asking to get out. What you guys doing? I'm sorry, Ron. It takes a long time to get back in the U.S. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> They look very cute. What happens if I have to go to the bathroom? I wonder if I could just hop back in the truck camper and pee and then come back out. I'll probably be in the same spot. I'm not as excited going back into the U.S. as I was coming into Canada. It just tells me I need to get in more international travel. Bye, Canada. I'll miss you. Till next time. You were lovely. <laughs> so it says cell phone use not permitted. So I guess I'm not going to film going through the border crossing. I did go into Canada and I didn't see signs that said cell phone not permitted. I'm sure it still wasn't, but I had it going and it wasn't an issue. Maybe it wasn't an issue because nobody noticed it, but um, I think the US is like a lot stricter on things like that. So I'm just not even gonna have it going. I'm not even gonna try. Back in the USA in Michigan, I pulled over to go to a grocery store because I am hungry and I don't have any bread. I haven't had bread for a few days. I'm just going to run into this Myers and get some bread and dog food and the dogs will be fine. Right, Ron? They're very comfortable in here. This is their home. They're probably just going to take a little siesta and wait for me to come back. They love to chew bones, right? Yes, we do. Here you go, Lily. Mm, Ronald, you want a bone? Good boy. There he is. She's hiding it. <laughs> See, this 
this causes a problem is she hides the bone. She buries the bone in the bed covers and then Ron inadvertently goes by it and gets attacked. So before I get back on the road, I'm going to eat some plant-based cheese that my friend got me. Hold the Holstein. And then went to Myers and tried to get um, healthier crackers. They didn't really have a very big choice of crackers. I try not to buy crackers because I'm really bad with crackers because I love them and I'll just like eat the whole box, which isn't like the healthiest thing. So I'm going to try these twice baked crisps, red pepper with my cheese. They're like little toasts. Hmm. Hmm. As an added treat, I'm going to have some kabucha my favorite. Ooh. I'm really liking the crackers. <laughs> look at the cheese. I guess they tried to make it look like a cow. So it has something black on it. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Yummy. Mmm. Cheers. Mm. Next up, Columbus, Ohio. Definitely feeling like I'm back in the U.S. Just, it's just a lot busier than where I um, crossed in Port Huron and um, it was really beautiful, quaint farm country in Ontario, and then coming back, there it's not. <laughs> it's your typical U.S., lots of fast food places, and just lots of busyness. Yeah. Going through Detroit. This is our morning view today. <laughs> Somebody's window. <laughs> but there are some flowers over there. The dogs are curious. Hi Ron, good morning. So we made it to Columbus last night and we're waking up in my friend Paula's driveway. I'm driveway surfing today on my way Back to Florida. Thank you all for coming on our Canadian adventure with us. We appreciate you so much. Remember to always be kind, especially to yourself. And we'll see you next time. Mwah.